Hi guys, today's video is going to be short, but I'm going to talk about timing taps. Now, Cadillac has a lot of different timing taps. From early, this is like 68, 69, where there's no marks at all, to late, this is 425, uh, 368. And over the years they changed. And, and this is just five different ones that were on the motors. And there's actually several more than these, but these are the five I have. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is that you really need to match the correct timing tab to the pulley that you're going to run. And what I'm going to do is this is a billet aluminum timing tab. And I'm going to compare it, I've put some bolts on here, to other timing tabs. Now, this is 68-69. Um, like I said, there's no marks. But this was um, 0, 0.48 or 0, 0.510, depending on the pulley diameter. And so, it could be either or. And that's why they're listed a little different. But, like I said, there are several more tabs I don't have here. But that was the basic design. Now... If you compare it to this particular billet one, this is where zero is, and I put a mark on it. And you can see on this particular billet timing tab, zero is marked up here. And so you would already be wrong if you were to just bolt that on and hook it up. But as you go through the years, you can see that some stuff initially stayed the same. The the zero on this particular one is the hole. And that lines up with the mark on this timing tab. So that's basically the same as early. This is more like uh, 71, 72. And so if we keep going and we go up to a little bit different, um, this one is basically the same as this timing tab, but it's wider here. And so the marks are basically the same. Zero is still in the same point. So you would assume you're safe. Now, I'm very fond of running the 76, 75, 76 pulleys because the one for the alternator is out further, and that lets me eliminate the air pump. But if you run that, and this is a 75-76 pointer, is you can see this timing tab that's billet is actually designed to mimic the 75-76 timing tab. And so if I was to run it and not and try and run my early pointer, then I would be four degrees off. And so that's why when I did some of that in the other videos, I talk about having to find the correct pointer for the correct pulley. You need to make sure that the pointer matches the pulley. Now, there's just a notch on the pulley. So if you don't have it correct, you can put the motor at TDC when you're building it and make a new notch and just highlight it so that you know that's the correct one. Now, where this really gets crazy is if you go to the 368-425 pulley arrangement. Now you can see zero that I marked here from the early timing tab is all the way up at 16. So if you were to just bolt up this timing tab, you would be way off in timing. I mean, even if you set it to 16 degrees initial, you're actually at zero and you'd have trouble making the motor run right. Now, the reason I point that out, because not a lot of people do the, the 368 pulleys, but there was a trend there where people were using the 425 pulleys in order to eliminate the air pump. But the Cadillac, Cadco, I'm sorry, uh, timing pointer, that's this one. And that's the one you can buy. You know, a nice billet, blingy, timing tab. But if you look, it is designed to match 
the late model one. Now he did that because it moved the timing mark down for his pulley arrangement. And if you were to run this, you can run this with a regular pulley, but you would have to mark the pulley at zero. Otherwise, you're going to be way off in left field. And so you really need to pay attention to the timing tab and where zero is located so that you make sure that you're running the correct timing that you think you're running. And, and it really needs to match the pulley or you need to make sure you mark a new zero so that it is correct when you go to set timing. This stuff doesn't just bolt up and work. They're not all the same. There are lots of variations. There are two or three more than I have here. Um, Courtney had a picture. I think there may have been eight different ones he ran across. And even at that, he told me that he had seen one or two others that were even different from those eight. So there are variations. Sometimes it's California versus the rest of the U.S. Sometimes it was air pump versus non-air pump. But make sure that you have the right timing tab so that you know what your timing's at. So I wish you all luck with, with your projects. And that's today's short video. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.